What age range you want to date? Um, legal age. Legal age. What the hell that mean, Joseph? That sound. That don't sound good. guys, welcome back to At Liminal Period. It's your girl, Chun Li Shadi. So I came across a clip from the Whatever podcast that I wanted to share with you guys, and it's related to age gap relationships. I was interested in this conversation because I myself have been involved in a number of different age gap relationships. I'm honestly not even 100% sure what the gap needs to be in order for it to be considered an age gap relationship. But when I first saw this video, you know, I kind of felt some type of way about it because the age that they are describing is actually the same age I was with the guy I was dating. I saw this video, but I guess I wanted to share it because I think sometimes conversation within the manosphere or the red pill community can be so extreme. And I think sometimes it can be disingenuous because of how far extreme they go. And I'm not sure if that makes a lot of sense, but that's why I wanted to share the video. So without further ado, let's get into it. It's predatory. How's it's how? extremely predatory. How? How's it predatory? And to target it younger women because they have less experience. So that's something that like target? abusers and groomers mm -hmm. Purposely Wait, say they look for victims that are less experienced. So, so this is the feminist loaded yeah. language. So you, you earn that green in your hair. Yeah. <laughs> so so you use the term targeted, predatory, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Loaded so terms. couldn't I just say that women target wealthy and successful men and they're predatory for targeting wealthy and successful men? Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or is it just the reality? the sort of evolutionary biological reality that women tend to be attracted to men of status, men of means, for, there's a f couple reasons there. One, a guy of high status could have certain uh, benefits to her and her children, right? So why is that any different than men preferring a younger woman who would be a better partner because she has could, she's not a better partner because she's younger. She's just easier baggage. to you know, manipulate. Me... That's genuinely that's oh, genuinely a thing. Okay, so I just want to chime in real quick because I think again is another argument based off of semantics. Okay, and what I mean by that is I think is the specific terminology that Brian is getting tripped up on, and it's her using specific words and describing certain dynamics that is kind of i guess triggering him because again she is using the term target and predatory as in these men are going after these women these 18 year old women with malicious intent and again i do think there is some validity in her statement because yes there are some men that Actually, there were a lot of men. And if I can find the number of it, then I will insert a clip here. But Bad Baby, she was in the social atmosphere and doing her thing while she was underage. And she announced that she was going to have an OnlyFans page when she turned 18. And right before her birthday, there was an entire countdown of men just lining up and waiting. And like, you know, like when you're on YouTube and you press notify me when someone goes live or notify me when a new video drops. Yeah, men, grown as men, were hitting the notify button for bad baby for the moment that she is 18 for her to launch her 18 and older, you know, page. So I do think that there is some validity. However, I don't think it's going to be fair for you to assume that every man in the world is a predator based on the fact that they have a preference for younger women that happened i could actually make this like other very argument. very often actually so i could make another argument so a woman who's say 33 and still single she is perhaps because of you know the time clock when it comes to pregnancy look you can get pregnant well into your late 30s 40s i can actually just make an, this argument about uh easier to manipulate a woman who's a little more pressed to get into a relationship she's easier to manipulate because she's like Time's ticking. Yep. Yeah. And I can but Brian, that's with the assumption that these women are limiting themselves with their biological clock. 
I made a video not too long ago with Vivica A. Fox still taking applications for her next suitor. Okay, and she's 60 years old. These women are not allowing the biological clock to affect them as much as it should. So no, you cannot use her age against her with the modern day woman. Manipulate, hold, hold on, let me make the argument. Okay, I can uh, manipulate her better because she has a- uh, That's only if she falls She has for a it. greater- uh, Desire. Des, uh, desire, no, there's, not, there's another word I'm thinking of. A, gr a greater urgency. Yes. Because of her greater urgency to enter into a relationship, she must be easier to manipulate. That example also sounds like you're a gross person. What a coulda shoulda. That doesn't. That right, example is not that's, less gross. Does not make him sound like but, gross. But you're, you're, you're saying you're making him sound but, predatory. But, but you're saying well, by he's saying virtue that of this somebody's... person is purposely manipulating a woman. That no, is he's not no. manipulating anything. I'm saying he used the word manipulation. No, no, no. You made the claim that younger women are easy to manipulate, but I could say that they are. Right, but hold on. I am making the argument that. You could manipulate somebody at an older age for other reasons. Yes, that's also disgusting. You can, um, you can manipulate people at any right, so But, why but do that's you... also not an overwhelming problem in our society. But why do you jump to the Neither conclusion? Age gap relationship. Why do you yeah, come, why do you jump to the conclusion well, that the, that a man who wears wants... I got hit on considerably more by older men when I was sixteen. Than okay, when I was not 18. interested not in interested, talking yeah. about. Uh, we're not talking about that. Yeah, it's, I'm talking it's about adult of... relationships. So we're talking about right. 18 okay, and over. Okay, so we'll talk fresh so 18. So young woman means what adult does fresh 18, 18 and over. mean? They just turned 18. So what? Are, can they vote? Yes, but your brain <laughs> yes. is not fully developed. Uh, then why are you, are you voting? Then why are you voting? Okay, so this is the part that I was trying to explain in my monologue, I guess. I believe this is an example of moving the goalposts. And I feel like that's the terminology that's used a lot of times in these podcasts and these spaces. But I, I think that's considered moving the goalposts, right? Like she's just talking about as far as maturity level and experience level of an 18 year old. And you're saying, well, why should women vote? Well, in my personal opinion, like I think that all of us gain experience and mature as we age, or at least we should. Can you guys actually sit here and say that you're the same person with the same thought process and rationale as you were at 18? No, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't have had any rights. At 18. Because it's different. Why? How is because, it different? Because, okay, so first of all, so that you law can, so you is- So can vote that, to affect my do life? Why, <laughs> do you know why that law is set into place and why 18 is considered an adult? It's so that they can enlist young people into the military because Wait, based young on people? our physical- Young men. people or young men. or men? Men. Okay. Young just men want, into the military that, because people, at 18 men. is when they are physically able to serve. No, nope. that is based actually 16 year olds. It is be. not. It is not based off of. Oh, 18 is fully formed. Your brain is not fully Wait, formed so until 25. You're fine. Now, I'm not well, saying that any 26 year old going for an 18 year old is predatory and problematic. However, that is a big issue that I do see often. I do see a lot of women, young women, 18 women, fresh into the dating scene, getting taken advantage of by 30 year olds. How do you Great. know that getting, is so common. What evidence, what evidence do you have that they're getting taken advantage of? Sim, is it simply by virtue of them dating? Their experience. How is that? And they How speak you know about their experiences. How is that? And they speak about it and abusers and groomers specifically have been interviewed and have talked Again, about the fact that they the go for younger language. women because they are easier to mold. You have to stop making every man as if they're like being a predator. Actually, I'm willing I to don't totally. Every man is. I'm totally Wait, willing to engage exactly, with this. I think but a lot, but it is. I a think problem. at this point, I right. think this Look, point is fine. Not all men, not all, not all men are abusers. Not all men are rapists. But a ma yeah, overwhelming majority word. of women have had an exper a negative experience with a man. Totally and agree. That is so, fact. So let's let's back up. I just I want to make sure I understand. So again, her statement is valid. Most women, whenever they're experiencing any type of abuse or SA, it is at the hands of a man. You know, because like that's the way that sex and <laughs> attraction works most of the time. But that does not mean that you should go treating every man as if he's a predator or, you know, out there to get you. And I think that is the issue that we're having in modern day society. And that's why there are so many women that are opting for the bear in the man versus bear scenario. Like who would you rather get lost in the forest with? Mm -hmm. 
When should women be considered adults? I think women should be considered an adult and making adult decisions probably around 25. Because of the prefrontal lobe? I would, because of the prefrontal lobe, mm -hmm. yes. The prefrontal lobe that begins degrading immediately after 25? I believe that hang on. a woman who's 25 lobe. is very different yeah, than a girl on, who's on. 18. That's hang so Why? different. Wildly different. They Why? have wildly different viewpoints. Why are they different they have at 25? They're inexperienced. Okay, but no, not that's not what you said. Lobe. Wait, wait, wait. And the prefrontal lobe you, is also you, Okay, so hang on. You, you, if you're going to make this justification, I mm -hmm. need you to actually make it. Okay. Are you an adult at 25 because your prefrontal lobe is fully developed? I would say that's a factor. It's also experience. Okay, but experience is... is and I would say... Hang on, hang on. It's a direct a 21 year old is, is like a young adult. But experience but is arbitrary. You can have 19, 18 year olds yeah. far more experienced than 25 year olds. Yes. Yeah. That so, is a factor so for because sure. Because that is so, there's no way that we could base adulthood on experience. There would be no test we could give for experience. No. So if you're looking for physicality, the prefrontal lobe is it? For physicality, yes. Well, then if that is the case, don't you think that women should not be able to vote until 25? I wouldn't say women shouldn't be able to vote. I would say Well, we're talking people. about women being able to consent. So you don't... Again, please correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not fully up to date with all of the different terminologies, but is this moving the goalposts or shifting the goalposts? Is it? Because I don't think this entire argument or conversation is started off with voting and maturation and adulthood. It started off because she said it was an ick of hers when older men, men in their 30s, are attracted to 18-year-old girls. For her, that is a red flag. And to me, everyone's allowed to have their own personal preference. If you don't want to date men that only date young women, for example, Leonardo DiCaprio, everybody knows. Like you know, He gets rid of his girlfriend as soon as they turn 25. He's a 50-year-old man. But again, because he's a handsome guy with a lot of money, a lot of people will look past that. So anyways, I know I'm going on a tangent, but I think per personal preferences, it's whatever. And whatever her reason is, so be it, you know, because at the end of the day, your personal preference is only going to limit the amount of people that you're going to be interested in. So whatever. I think they should be able to consent until they're 25. I think voting, I, I'm not saying that no one can consent. I'm not saying no one can but vote. But I thought they weren't adults. I'm not saying that every single woman that is date, that is 30, who, she's 18, he's a 30-year-old. I'm not saying every single instance I'm not saying is that a either. woman getting I'm, taken listen, advantage I'm of. Listen, I'm just following your logic. Are they adults at 25 you're or not, before? I feel like you're making a very broad blanket statement. Because and I'm we, not making the, a broad blanket well, statement. I'm are. saying this is a you problem are. that is happening. <laughs> there are men that yeah. are doing this. Not all men. So when are women not adults? When? I don't, I don't think her personal the preference Oops. is a broad statement. I would statement. say human. I would consider an adult woman 25. If you consider them to only be adults at 25, why the fuck would you ever advocate that men or women can ever make any decision which would impact their life in the long term before the age of 25, including the, consenting to sex? Because that's just the world we live in. That's not that's an answer. Not and an also, answer. but the age it, It's crazy to me that the witch, I think that's what they called her in the episode. She's a witch. She believes in witchcraft. It's crazy to me that she believes in freedom of choice more than he does. She is clearly expressing a preference of the age and he's trying to put it into law. Is also not 18. It depends state to state. It's very, very different. Yeah, but I would guess that you would want to eliminate that for non-adults, right? I it depends on the age range. I think an 18-year-old having want a six... sex with an 18-year-old is very different than a 30-year-old sure, having yeah, sex yeah, we'll, with an 18-year-old. We'll, we'll go with that. I think it's very, very different Yeah, we'll dynamic. go with that. But if you're not smart enough or competent enough or experienced enough to make a decision about who you want to sleep with, regardless of their age, why the fuck would we give you consent to sleep with anyone? You're not experienced enough to have to make those decisions, right? Because it's not, it doesn't apply to all, and I'm not saying it applies to all. Again, I never said every you said single, a, I've never you said. You did say all. I've never said every single I asked you when all women situation. are adults. When are all of them adults? I guess, okay, then I'll rechange my statement. It depends on the person. So how could you ever create adult. a metric for it then? I think that people who are 25 should be going for people who are around the same age range. I think it's a very huge red flag uh -huh. when men who are 23 and older are going for 18-year-olds, especially 18-year-olds that are... There's 18-year-olds that are still in high school. So? They're graduating high school. So you think someone in high school should date... 
that's so, you know what I mean? Like that right there is what I mean by that's when the red pill or the manosphere kind of lose me. It's like the extreme. Okay. It's like, and again, 20, 23 dating an 18 year old. I don't see that big of a deal. So yeah, that is kind of a, so, but a 35 year old and an 18 year old. When are they adults? It's weird. It's weird. That's Why is what it, I'm what saying. Makes it, okay. Weird. Let's get it's into this. It's gross. It's weird. Just saying, and it, it gives you the ick. Valid. It gives you the ick. Yeah. It gives Can you give me an actual ick. argument other than it gives me the ick? Like an actual argument for why this is wrong. Yes, it puts a lot of women in having that blanket. It puts a lot of women in very, very uncomfortable situations. <laughs> what are all the women that it puts? Okay, but that's you have it. Hang on. Every relationship can do that. They are choosing to make that decision. Yeah, that all... doesn't mean that it's not gross. That doesn't mean that men that are purposely 30 years old targeting 18 year olds are not mm -hmm. a problem. Should, do you think? Not a gross do you think being. that based on the fact just that just because they legally can? Okay. Do you mean, think? Do you think that you should be able to outlaw it? No. Well, then how much of a problem could it be? Don't it's you usually outlaw behavior all that's I said problematic? Was gross. I said ew. Is this I just disagreed talk? with it. I can see. Okay, and that's what I mean by they lose me when they get too extreme because now once again Andrew is the one that is introducing the idea of it being outlaw. She said it was an ick. She said it was a red flag for her, and that is just her opinion. I don't understand why her morality is to dictate all of America, and this is what bothers me about the whatever podcast or at least Andrew is that sometimes I feel like he is trying to make an argument when there is just a conversation when she is just sharing her preference and her ideas on whatever it is because earlier in the conversation he was saying that it's a red flag for flight attendants and actually I think they're going to touch back on it again so before I jump the gun I'll save that but again I don't understand why her morality has to dictate laws and I don't know if Andrew thinks that his baseline should be grounds for laws. So I disagree with an opinion. That doesn't mean we're going to base a law off of my opinion. Exactly. Okay, so you, I don't speak for an entire country. Okay. So you don't think. I speak for me. So you. you so, and I think that that's gross. Yeah. You just think it's icky. I think that's extremely icky. Yeah, sure. But you don't actually and have I an think argument. any 18 year old, 19 year old women yeah, yeah. that are watching this podcast. I agree. I would steer clear from. Me I. I would say most men who are like 23 trying to date 18 year olds, it's because they're unable to get women their own age because they lack maturity. So let's move it back, okay, before you go off on these other diatribes and we'll just stick with the one. Do you, can you actually make a moral argument for why it would be wrong for a 30 year old man to date your an 18 year old girl? Your preferences doesn't have to be based on morals. They both consent to Surprise. it. Well, it's like a red flag, so it's not like it's kind of like you were saying with like a flight attendant. It's a red flag because there is flight attendants that maybe aren't sleeping mm -hmm. with a bunch of guys, but there is a stereotype there that most of them are sleeping with a lot of guys. So no, not all 30 year olds who are dating 18 year olds have negative intentions. However, I would say a lot do. There is a stereotype. Yeah, but I would make I, it, there is a I'm going to give you the caveat distinction. I would say that a slight uh, or a flight attendant who is sleeping with a lot of men is doing something immoral. Pause. Because, again, already within your first statement, like just setting up your statement, you said a flight attendant that is sleeping with a lot of guys. So, of course, you have a moral grounds for that. But you can't just say flight attendants equal sleep with a lot of men. And that's what you've tried to do in previous conversations. And that's what you've tried to do earlier in this conversation. So, again, I'm going to run it back in case anyone did miss it. He said a flight attendant that is sleeping with a lot of guys. No, not all 30 year olds who are dating 18 year olds have negative intentions. However, I would say a lot do. There is a stereotype. Yeah, but I would make I, it, there is a I'm going to give you the caveat distinction. I would say that a slight uh, or a flight attendant who is sleeping with a lot of men is doing something immoral. Right. Would you? Yeah, because she's a whore. Would you give yeah, a flight attendant or a bus driver or a teacher or the president. If you're sleeping with a lot of people, you're a whore. It is immoral. Got it. But flight attendants already have that stereotype. So you're not making a distinguishment with morality in your statement. Again, it's like saying all 30-year-old men that are predatory, like if that was the setup, right? And that's why she kept saying, no, not all men are predatory. Not all men are, you know, like targeting young women. 
but the ones that are targeting. So again, it's very selective words. And I hate that I'm getting down the rabbit hole of semantics, but you guys know what I mean. The, the advantage of an yeah, so I'm asking, so I'm asking you to make the moral argument like I just did. Right. That thing, immoral. What about 30 year old with 18 year olds actually immoral? When they're both consenting. Yeah. What about flight attendants are immoral? Just the profession of being a flight attendant. What is so immoral about that? Nothing. Is the caveat that you had provided of her already sleeping around? It's the flight attendant that sleeps around. It's just really. The ick. fact that you they don't see a problem with it ick. is insane. Just say it's icky. It's insane to me. It's icky. It's just a clarification because I, I like so he just wants her to say is icky you know what i mean like at the end of the day i don't think that she was saying that all men i think it was just her choice of words because i want to share another clip with you guys and um you guys let me know how you feel about it okay what age range you want to date oh legal age legal age what the hell that mean joseph that sound that don't sound good. 18 and up. Joseph, you're 35. What you gonna do with an 18 year old? I'm 35. I don't want no 18 year old. We the same age. Oh, I, I didn't know that, but um, 18 is little, you know? So guys, give me your honest opinion on what you thought about that clip. I will be doing a full reaction later on today, but... I just wanted to include that clip in today's conversation because that is something that bothers me within the Manosphere or Red Pill talking space, um, especially with people like Andrew Wilson, people who are too extreme. I think having a conversation with him would be setting yourself up for failure because unless you agree with him, he is going to either shift the goalposts or just talk about things without understanding the nuances in certain situations, okay? So anyways, I think that if a girl has a preference of dating people within a certain age range, that is up to her. If men have a preference of dating younger women, that is up to them. So I think it's really disingenuous for Brian and Andrew to talk about the dynamics as if there is no instances where things can become toxic or the power dynamics that be can become disadvantaged for one person or the other. Okay, like there's a whole documentary on the Playboy Mansion and Hugh Hefner and the Playboy Bunnies and the things that these girls would do, the situations that they would get themselves into. And I'm not excusing it because at the end of the day, they are 18 year old adults. But you also have to understand that there are certain power dynamics. I mean, again, with the Cassie and P. Diddy, she was an adult when she was dating Diddy. But are we all going to just sit here and say that she deserved everything that was brought upon her by Diddy? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I mean by, like, people are, like, within these particular communities tend to end up being so rigid within their own ideologies, within their own rules, that... It, it you know it lacks room for compassion but anyways i know i'm going on a tangent but anyways i've enjoyed today's conversation i hope you guys did too thank you so much for everyone that was praying for me and wishing well wishes um during my hiatus i did want to save this for the end of the video because i know only the real people are going to stick around and pay attention but anyways i really do appreciate it um yeah uh, I'm still a little swollen, as you guys can see. I don't do like a lot of eyeshadow or anything like that, but I still have a black eye. So, yeah. Anyways, I've enjoyed this conversation. Hope you guys did too, and I look forward to speaking in with you guys next time. Bye.